Hi, my name is Dr. K. Chandra Reddy. I am the director of London IVF Center, Vishakapatnam, Andhra Pradesh. We are here to discuss regarding the one of the most common topic where the men used to get suffer from what is called as those perm seen in their semen sample called azospermia, which is one of the most common topic which has been searched through the internet as well. Then we thought the following few things can really help you to know what causes the azospermia, what are the symptoms, how can try to avoid or minimize these and problems and what are the care or what are the lifestyle changes you can modify at home. Azospermia is nothing but when you can't see any sperms, any live sperms or the dead sperms or both in a specimen which you have produced. So what are the types of azospermia or something? Simple thing is whether it is obstructed azospermia or there is no production at all. If you take like a non obstructive, means where there is no production at all in the testis, most of the time it is mainly because of the genetic causes like cystic fibrosis or some gene defects. Or sometimes men can have a radiation to the testis because of either the tumor or they may be exposed working at the radiology or x-ray departments. Another most common thing over the Indian setting is the diabetes. And sometimes also when they're born, their testis will be in the abdomen. They will now descend it down into the testis. These are the things can make there is no production at all. And due to that, men can have an azos per meal. Another thing is the obstruction. So there is a production, but sperm stops coming out. So most common is sometimes men can go undergo like a contraceptive treatment, like a vasectomy, which is more common in the Western world compared to the our time. So that can cause uh, azospermia. Another thing is like a varicocele. Varicocele is nothing but like a bag of bombs around the testis. When the veins dilate, then that can be increase the scrotal temperature leads to the leads to uh, sperms getting disappeared. More common is some infections like chlamydia, tuberculosis, and some hormonal as well. So these sometimes chlamydial things because of the infection itself can block it. Because of that, you can have an obstruction. Actually, men presents with. Most of the others permits, they may not be knowing, they will be asymptomatic, but some of them will have like a low sex drive or premature ejaculations or erectile dysfunctions. Lifestyle changes. Example, stop smoking, cut down the drinking, especially the alcohol. And main thing is not getting exposed to the pesticides and the chemicals, like if you're working in a chemical factory setting or as a farmer, try to avoid this. Few more things is like avoiding any unnecessary medications and avoiding like extreme heat, like using regular sauna or steam baths. Regular nutritious diet, avoiding the <coughs> unnecessary <coughs> bad diets. The next is the exercise. Continuous exercise, not like a strenuous exercises. Regular exercises can help. Most important thing will be reducing the stress, which is not that easy. But simple thing is like following yoga, some meditations can really help you. Another thing is the sleep. See, the good sleep is most important compared to anything else. I hope the uh, little introduction with the little details which I gave earlier can help you all. But foremost thing and most important thing we need to remember is as a man, we need to come forward and seek help early. 
avoiding the things because of the social stigma is not going to help you as the science is advanced especially in the field of infertility with the fertility treatment when single sperm or even no sperm is found we can still help the couple to fulfill their dreams this time together can help you all stay together and sail the boat when you are experiencing a little ups and downs thank you very much